Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. lecture we shall discuss about the uniqueness of primary decomposition so let us recall what we have done so far so today we are discussing uniqueness of primary decompositions So, uh, as usual, A is an Euthenian ring. And V is a finite A module. And U is a submodule of V. A submodule of V. Then we have proved earlier that there exists an irredundant primary decomposition for for u that means u is intersection of qi's finitely many and these qi's is pi primary for i is equal to 1 to r and irredundant means you cannot drop any one of them uh, also we have seen that uh, the associated prime ideals of V mod U is precisely this P1 to PR. These are the prime ideals corresponding to the primary components of U. Moreover, we have also seen that this P1 to PR are uniquely determined. Mm. And uh, today we are going to discuss whether the primary components are uniquely determined or not. So question is which of the primary components is Q1 to QR are uniquely determined. Yeah, as you will see the answer to this question, not all of them are uniquely determined, but some of them are uniquely determined. So we are going to find out which one. So for this, we want to first prove the preparation. We want to prove that the following theorem, which will help us, which is a preparation for answering this question. So theorem, um, let A, V, U be as in, as above and Q, U is this primary decomposition, irredundant, irredundant primary decomposition this also I will abbreviate by IPD and let P be 
or minimal with respect to the inclusion in the associated points in the set this is a finite set of associated prime ideals and I have chosen P to be the one minimal among them and it is because it is a finite set minimal exist and let QJ which is appearing here be P primary. Only one of them has corresponds to this P therefore I call it QJ and then um, I want to look at the map see we have a map iota VP this is just a notation this is a map a localization map from V to V localized P V localized P is by definition S inverse of V where S is the complement of P and now you have a submodule U of V and I localize it here that one is and I want to pull it back under this natural map so iota let us abbreviate this by iota only iota inverse of U localized at P is QJ that is the assertion once I prove this because this side is uniquely determined by U and P therefore this side is uniquely determined so that will prove that QJ is uniquely determined so in particular let us record the statement in particular primary components um, of U corresponding to the minimal primes in the associated prime ideals are uniquely determined. And the prime ideal uh, the primary components corresponding to the non-minimal prime ideals they need not be uniquely determined. Um, I will leave this uh, uh, to find the example such kind to the participants but let us prove this theorem first and then we will uh, digress little bit on the uh, for the ideals and about the Zariski topology. So proof is very easy. So proof uh, let us put Q equal to QJ and assume we may assume that U is 0 by passing to the uh, replace V by V by U and let us put uh, so we want to prove therefore so with this notation we want to prove to prove that iota inverse of 0 is q this is what we want to prove all right so uh, we have note we have earlier proved that if i localize at p and look at the associated prime ideals of qp these are precisely the localizations so s inverse of q where Q belonging to the associated prime ideals of Q and obviously it should be a proper ideal so Q should be contained in P this we have proved earlier um, but remember this said because Q P is minimal P is minimal among them it is clear that this is empty set this is empty set since um, a P belonging to associated prime ideals of V is minimal 
and and q belonging to the associated prime ideals of q if and only if q is one of the pi for some i not equal to j so therefore from this it follows so it follows that because the set of associated prime ideals of the localization qp is empty set therefore the module qp has to be zero module only and hence this means and so uh, q is contained in iota inverse of zero so we have, we wanted to prove equality here we proved one inclusion so now to prove the other inclusion um suppose suppose this is not equal then i can find a bigger sub module so if w containing v is a sub module of v with um w properly contains in q with iota inverse iota of w is zero that means when you push this w to the localization it becomes zero then we should get a contradiction and how do we get a contradiction that is because okay so then first note that in s inverse of w mod q this is zero but this is zero therefore the the associated primes of this should be empty set but what happens if you look at the associated prime ideals of w by q which is contained in associated prime ideals of Uh, v by q but q is p primary therefore associated prime ideals of v by q is a singleton p and uh, this is because q is not w we are assuming this is non empty because of this when i go to the associate uh, when i localize this this p will still survive so that implies s inverse of w by q is non zero non empty but we have just shown earlier that it is empty therefore a contradiction a contradiction so this proves the proposition and now i just want to remark so what did we prove we proved that the associated prime ideals corresponding to the minimal primes they are uniquely determined uh, so when you for example now let us take a particular case which is very important so suppose i have a noetherian ring a noetherian and a is an ideal there no proper ideal ideal then we know that a has a primary decomposition irredundant so primary components are like this q1 to qr and among them i choose so we have this associated prime ideals this is p1 to pr these are uniquely determined we know but q may not be uniquely determined so i choose the minimal one among them so that means let q1 to qr q1 to q some may be minimal among them so q1 to qs definitely there is at least few more minimals 
few minimal because it's a finite set so let these be the primary components primary components of a with respect to the minimal primes p1 to ps in the associated prime ideals of this a by a which is the set p1 to ps and few more pr this is ipd then we know that these q's are minimal uh, q's are uniquely determined so therefore this we have proved that q1 to qs are uniquely determined and now if you look at the corresponding um, v recall that v is this is by definition all those prime ideals which contain p1 so this v1 to v p s this are precisely irreducible components of spec a by a um so they are actually uh, not irreducible but they are the connected components of this with respect to the zariski topology so i have recall uh, the zariski topology is given by where the v's are the declared to be the closed sets we have seen this earlier so the pictorially what we will look that this if you so in particular for a equal to 0 in particular for ideal a equal to 0 then i would like to draw the picture of of the spectrum so if you have a ring a a is a noetherian ring and we are applying the above result to the ideal 0 a is the zero ideal then we have zero is the intersection of these primary components and q1 to qs are the minimal one these are minimal and they are corresponding to the prime ideals p1 to pr ps they are minimal in in the associated prime ideals of a then if you want to see the picture of spectrum of a these are the v's they are the connected components so they don't intersect because the connected components so like this but there could be a an embedded component that means non minimal one will be lying somewhere here or here so these will be called embedded components so the prime uh, the components which are not minimal they are called so non minimal components are called embedded components that means they are embedded in some other uh, connected component all right so uh, now i just want to uh, give one more observation which will be also very useful 
in some later lectures namely this theorem this is for the rings so a as usual a no ethereal a is an ideal in a and assume assume that the associated prime ideals of a mod a they are full of maximal ideals they are not only prime the, by definition they are prime ideals but we are assuming they are maximal ideal this is the set of all maximal ideals in a then and suppose a is q1 to qr this is the primary decomposition ipd a uh, redundant primary decomposition then q1 to qr are uniquely determined that is because these associated prime ideals are full of maximal ideals so therefore every element there is a minimal element there can't be any associated prime ideals which contain a maximal ideal because maximal ideals are maximal with respect to the inclusion so therefore by earlier theorem they are uniquely determined moreover the canonical map canonical homomorphism uh which one that is a mod a to this is the diagonal i is from 1 to r a mod qi just map a bar to the corresponding images these are the corresponding images in mod qi this is from i is from 1 to r this canonical map is an isomorphism and uh, spectrum of a mod qi is just a singleton mi so so proof is as i have seen uniquely determined follows immediately from the earlier theorem because all of them are minimal ones now i will only have to justify this isomorphism but for that i will use chinese remainder theorem because this qi is mi primary and mi is our maximal ideals therefore this qi will contain a power of mi some power mi power ri for some ri belonging to some natural non zero natural number and then uh, because mi if i take different i and j if i not equal to j then mi not equal to mj so therefore mi mj are co maximal therefore the powers are co maximal mi power ri and mi power rj are co maximal therefore if i look at this q1 intersection intersection qr from here to i have a mod q1 cross cross a mod qr and because they are co maximal uh, because these are co maximal therefore q qi and qj are also co maximal therefore chinese remainder theorem will tell you this is an isomorphism by chinese remainder theorem
So that proves the assertion we wanted and the spectrum is singleton that is clear and so that proves uh, minimal primes are uh, minimal uh, isolated sorry uh, that proves that the compo primary component corresponding to the minimal primes are uniquely determined and uh, that is the best we can do and I would just uh, write for record that so find an example of an ideal contained in A such that A has non minimal primary components. and they are not unique and they are different. This is very easy to see, but I want you to construct. So one possibility is if you take a uh, uh, suitable prime ideal and uh, maximal ideal contained in that, uh, maxi uh, the maximal ideal which contain that and now use this configuration to find an ideal A so that this it has two primary components one of them is with respect to P the other is with respect to M and the M1 is not uniquely determined. So you have to find two different so A you can write it as Q1 intersection Q2 this will be P primary this will be M primary and also it is equal to obviously Q1 is uniquely determined so Q1 intersection Q2 prime this is M primary this is P primary and equality holds but Q2 is not equal to Q2 prime. So that will show that uh, primary components corresponding to the non-minimal are not uniquely determined is non-minimal they are also called embedded because it is embedded in this the primary component corresponding to the minimal prime. So I will just write the name embedded components are not unique in general all right. So with this I would stop and uh, we will continue later thank you.